In order to better understand what's happening with the Euler sampler in the latent space, which I'll make a longer video about later, it's first helpful to have a background in this thing called the Euler method, which there's a similar concept in the step size is important to the end result. Now here, we're gonna use this to approximate an ordinary differential equation, that's here. But first, it's helpful to understand what is known as a derivative. Derivative in mathematics is different than a derivative in the art world. <laughs> In mathematics, it means a direction of change. So if we actually knew this function and we were to take the derivative at these points, the direction of change of the function, you can see that if we kind of connected those together, we could approximate the function. So in ordinary differential equations, we don't actually know what this really looks like, but we know the derivative. So we would choose step sizes and we would compute the derivative and we would kind of walk it to the conclusion and you'd see there is some error. If I get a bigger step size, I get a different error, kind of like you get a different result with different step sizes with the Euler sampler. And if I were to take this really, really tiny, 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 tiny step size, I would get a much better approximation and end at this result with much less error. Here with this portrait of a bearded dragon, you can see that the step size does matter. The final output changes with the number of steps. Here we're taking these big giant steps and forcing a convergence really fast, but here's where we take those little tiny, 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 tiny micro steps and converge on this final image. You see the difference? Where do you stop? Well, how much time do you want to take and where are you happy with the end result?